The other super easy and super cool theorem and theory of equations is Descartes rule of science. Now Descartes rule of science, it is applicable for any polynomial with real coefficients. So suppose we have this polynomial which is a n x to the power n, a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a naught equals to 0, where each of these coefficients a n, a n minus 1, a naught, they are real numbers. So what we'll do is for this rule, we'll write the sequence of these coefficients. So we'll write a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2 and then a naught. Now if there are terms whose coefficients are 0, we'll remove those terms from the sequence. Then we look for number of sign changes. That is, we look for how many times sign has changed either from plus to minus or from minus to plus. So then we'll say, suppose in this case, number of sign changes given by S. Now for this polynomial equation, we'll also say number of positive real roots is suppose P. So now we have this polynomial equation with the real coefficients and for these coefficients, number of sign changes is S and for this equation, number of positive real roots is P. Then Descartes rule of sign says this S minus P, it will be a non-negative even number. So that is this S minus P will always be greater than or equal to zero and the difference of S minus P will always be an even number. So that's what Descartes rule of sign says. Now we have to find maximum number of positive real roots for any polynomial equation. Then we know that this P is always less than or equal to S and at the same time the difference between S and P should be a multiple of two. Now we can also use Descartes rule of signs for negative real roots also. Now if we have to use Descartes rule of signs for negative real roots, what we need to do is we need to simply replace x with minus x and then we'll again put out the sequence, sequence of all the coefficients and then we'll look for number of sign change. Now in that case, number of negative real roots again should always be less than or equal to s and the difference between s and n should also be a multiple of 2. So we can use Descartes rule of signs to calculate both maximum number of positive real roots and maximum number of negative real roots. Now let us take up an example. Say for example, we have to find number of positive roots and number of negative roots for this equation x cubed minus 3x square plus 1 equals 0. Now first we look for number of positive roots. Now for positive roots, first I'll write the sequence which is 1, minus 3 and 1. So I'll just write the signs, so plus, minus and plus. So here I see sign changes from plus to minus and then from minus to plus. So in this case, number of sign changes simply 2. Now Descartes rule of sign says this S minus P should be a non-negative even number. So that is S minus P should be greater than or equal to 0. That is P should be less than or equal to S. Now difference of S and P, it should be an even number. So in that case, we'll have two possibilities. Either the value of P is 0 or the value of P is 2. So this equation will have either no positive real root or two positive real roots. Now we'll come to negative real roots. Now for negative real roots, we'll replace x with minus x. So if I replace x with minus x, I'll write minus x cubed minus 3x square plus 1 equals to 0. So I'll get minus x cubed minus 3x square plus 1 equals to 0. So the signs are plus plus minus minus and plus. So there is only one sign change. So in this case, the value of s is 1 and we know that s minus n should be greater than or equal to 0. So in that case, this s minus n should also be an even number. So here we have only one possibility and that is the value of n should be 1. So from this Descartes rule of sign, we know that this equation will have exactly one negative real root but we are not sure about its positive real roots. Either it will have zero positive real root or two positive real roots. Now, in order to decide either it is zero or it is two, we'll uh, use something called as Bolzano's theorem, which we generally use in calculus. Now, Bolzano's theorem says, if we have a continuous function fx and there are two numbers a and b such that f a and f b is less than zero, then at least one root of the equation fx equals to zero will lie between a and b. 
So any polynomial equation, so any polynomial equation is a continuous function. So what we will do is for this polynomial equation, we'll find the value of f0. Now, if I put x as 0, I'll get this value as 1. And if I put x as 1, I'll get this as 1 minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 1. So I can say f0 into f1 is less than 0. Now, Bolzano's theorem says at least one root of this equation will lie between 0 and 1. Now, because Descartes theorem already told us either it will have no real root, no positive real root or two positive real roots. Now, Bolzano's theorem says it will have at least one positive real root in 0 and 1. So that means, so the only condition that we have here is the value of p should be 2. So now we can say that for this cubic equation, there are three real roots and of these three real roots, two of them are positive real roots and one of them is a negative real root. Now suppose the equation is x to the power 5 plus 7x cubed plus 5x minus 1 equals to 0. And again, we have to find number of positive and negative real roots for this equation. So again, I'll write Descartes theorem for positive real roots. So I'll write the sequence 1, 7, 5, minus 1. So which is plus, plus, plus and minus. So number of sign change, it is 1. Now S minus P should be a non-negative even number. So that means we are left with only one possibility and that is the value of P should be 1. So now we know this fifth degree equation will have exactly one positive real root. Now what about negative real roots? So for negative real roots, I'll replace x with minus x. So minus x to the power 5 minus 7x cubed minus 5x minus 1 equals to 0. So minus 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 and minus. So there is no sign change. So when there is no sign change, value of s is 0. Now n, it cannot exceed s. So that is the value of n is 0. So in this case, we have got the exact result and which is Descartes rule of sign says this equation of fifth degree will have exactly one positive real root and no negative real root and that is this equation will have exactly one real root. Now for this equation also we can use calculus to analyze the problem. So let fx is x to the power 5 plus 7x cube plus 5x minus 1. So if I differentiate I can write 5x to the power 4 21x square plus 5. All these numbers are positive which is greater than 0. So it implies that this fx is an increasing function. Now because its degree is odd, so this polynomial function will start from minus infinite and then it will increase. So it is only going to intersect x-axis at one point. So this equation will have exactly one real root. So from calculus also we can say this equation will have exactly one real root. Now we can use Bolzano's theorem to decide whether the root is positive or negative. So if I write f0, what is the value of f0? f0 is minus 1 and if I write limit x tends to infinite fx. So now when x tends to infinite, x to the power 5 also tends to infinite. So that is the value at 0 is minus 1. So this root will lie between 0 and infinite. Uh, so which makes it a positive real root. So this equation will have exactly one real root and that real root will be a positive real root.